With new button slicer in Power BI, you can create this amazing slicer, and you can even configure it to auto-select the latest month by default. And when your month changes, and you get more data from the new month, you no longer need to reset your slicer to the next month. In this video, let's enable this functionality with this Power BI button slicer. Alright, I have opened this Power BI desktop file, and here I have inserted this new button slicer. At this moment, if I just select the month column, it creates this button slicer, and if I go to the formatting section, I can see all these customizations which I can do. For example, for the selection icon, I can select the state, and format each states differently. Here I am selecting a green fill color for the selected items. Or for the callout value, on selected state, I can change the font style, size, or its color. With that, I have this amazing slicer. But this is not what we are looking for. We want to use this slicer in such a way, that it always auto-selects the latest month. And for that, I need to apply some tricks. First of all, I will go to my calendar date table, and I will create two calculated columns. My first column name is latest month placeholder. The expression for this column is pretty simple. I will create a variable to store max of year month. And this can be simply calculated with function max on year month column for this entire table. In the return statement, I will validate. If your month in the row is equal to this max your month, then it should show 100. Or else it should return the actual month number. I am using this number 100 just to differentiate the latest month with other actual month numbers. Next, I will create my another calculated column. For that, I will use the same DAX expression. This column name I can keep as latest month. And in the return statement, remove this section and return the month name with additional text as latest or else the month name. Create this column and get ready to see the magic of new button slicer. And for that, let's go back to the report page. Select the slicer visual and remove this month name field. Replace it with latest month placeholder. If you remember, we used 100 for the latest month in this placeholder expression. Select this 100. From the callout section, with all the states enabled, scroll down and disable the values option. With this, we won't see the placeholder values. Next. Scroll down and enable the label. Here add the latest month calculated column. And we will see the actual months now. One more time from the callout section, select the state as selected. And once again from the label area, add the latest month field. We can also change the font style for the selected latest month. All right, we are now ready with our solution. For this demo, I have restricted this data up to May month. Now I will add June month data and our slicer will automatically change to June as latest month. Since we are in Power BI Desktop, I have to manually refresh this dataset with new months, but in real-time scenario, it will happen with your schedule refresh. And here you can notice, we have the June as the latest month. This feature can be very useful for your Power BI solutions. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our channel for many such interesting videos on Power BI. Post your feedbacks and suggestions in comment box.